Hello, hi, welcome to another episode of Happy Cooking. Today I'm in my garden. As usual, I prefer to be in my garden, especially when the weather is nice. And see where I am. What can you see behind me? Many of you must have understood by now that I live in Dubai. That's Burj Khalifa. Yes, you are right. And you are getting the view right from my garden. I am in India, but I don't live in India. I've been living in Dubai for last more than 20 years. So a lot of people have uh, sometimes requested me, why don't you show an Arabic recipe? Yeah, of course, after staying here for so long, uh, we have picked up a taste for some of the Arabic dishes, and I don't know how to make all of them. Some of these are so near and dear to me and my family that I had to learn the recipe. One of such recipes I am going to share with you today. It's a dip, you can call it a cold meza, like the Arabs call it, and it can be used as a side dish as well. It itself is very nutritious. I'm talking about hummus. Come, let's learn how to prepare hummus. Very home style recipe. Primary ingredient is a cup of white chickpeas. Also, we need one teaspoon each of black pepper powder and cumin seed powder and a clove of garlic. Two taste salt. For some tanginess, add freshly squeezed lemon juice. And we will need one cup of extra virgin olive oil. Yes, it has to be one cup. A cup of sesame seeds, white sesame seeds for the tahini sauce. Sesame seeds and olive oil gives this dish good fats first step is to soak the white chickpeas so here i'm adding water to my chickpeas to soak them overnight so that they cook easily next day next morning look at this all my chickpeas have been soaking overnight and now they're so soft i'm going to now pressure cook these chickpeas till they're really soft add the chickpeas to the pressure cooker and cook them only with plain water no salt no spices till they are really really soft while our chickpeas are cooking let's prepare the tahini sauce on a hot pan over low flame keep stirring the white sesame seeds till they are well toasted emitting nice flavor slightly change in color and looks little shiny Allow it to cool down a little bit and then transfer it to a grinder jar. In the grinder jar, without adding any oil or water, keep grinding this sesame seeds till they have completely turned into a thick paste. However, keep stopping your grinder jar time to time as you do not want it to be heated up. Here we are, almost halfway done. Look at this. Although you can see the oil has started coming out, but it's still grainy and still very dry so we need to grind it farther i will show you when it's fully ground how it looks this is exactly how your tahini sauce looks like thick creamy smooth and shiny so rich flavor of all the toasted sesame seeds because whole oil has now been released you can store this tahini sauce in a dry airtight container, preferably a glass canister, in your fridge for about two to three weeks. However, you need to cover the whole surface of tahini with extra virgin olive oil. This is how you can store it for two, three weeks. Here, all my chickpeas are properly cooked by now. I have discarded the water and you can see now, even with slight pressure with finger, it just gets mashed so easily. This is how much you need to cook this. Now, these cooked chickpeas, I'm adding it to the grinder jar, along with cumin powder, clove of garlic, black pepper powder, one to one and a half tablespoon of lemon juice, two taste salt, now add three teaspoons of homemade fresh tahini sauce last but not least half a cup of olive oil now 
keep grinding till you get a thick smooth and very very rich looking hummus this is how it looks like transfer it to the serving bowl this is so rich so yum you can create so many variations of hummus but even this simple traditional hummus is also very tasty make sure you cover the whole surface of hummus with a generous quantity of extra virgin olive oil traditionally each dish of hummus is garnished with sumak sumak is actually an arabic herb spice powder which you can either get in arabic store or you can order it online it adds a different kind of flavor but to add more freshness add a sprig of fresh mint leaf there your hummus is ready you can create variations by adding toasted pine nuts or whole boiled chickpeas beetroot paste paprika powder and so on enjoy hummus immensely popular arabic dish hummus i hope all of you have requested it to find the recipe useful so this recipe is very rich in protein very very nutritious and a lot of fiber do try this it's not very difficult to make and the freshly made hummus any day tastes so much better than the store bought hummus so i'm sure you will try it and if you like the recipe give it a thumbs up Those of you who are new to this channel, stay tuned for more recipes. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the notification bell. You will find many more such interesting recipes over here at Happy Cooking. Take care. Bye bye.